Okay, students. Now, what happens when I have a set? I have an issue of multiplication, and I have two sets of parentheses. And in each set of parentheses, I have a binomial. What a binomial is is I have two terms. So what that means is I have two terms in my first set of parentheses, and I have two terms in my second set of parentheses. Now, I want to multiply, but the question remains, what to multiply and in what order? And we came up with the FOIL technique a long time ago, and it's an acronym. And what an acronym is, you know, you take the first letter of each word, and you use it to form a new word, like FOIL. Now, what each word stands for, you know, F stands for first, O stands for outside, oops, let's type that again, I would stand for inside, and L stands for last. Now, so when I say first, what I'm looking for is, I'm looking for the first term in each parentheses. So my first term in my first parentheses is 4x. And my first term in my second parentheses is 3x squared. I'll type an equal sign and I'll put it in and I'll actually multiply in a second. Now, when I say outside, now if I look in the middle, the middle is where the two parentheses are touching. So when I say outside, I'm looking at the two terms that are farthest away from the middle possible. Well, if I look to the left, the farthest term possible is 4x. Times, and farthest away from the middle on the right side would be negative 2y. Type my equal sign, and now I'm looking at my inside terms. Now my inside terms are, well, which two terms are closest to the middle? In that case, it's 3. So I type 3. And then 3x squared. And then for last, I'm looking for the last term in each parentheses. So my last term in my first parentheses is 3. And the last term in my second parentheses is negative 2y. Now I'm going to multiply each one. Now, let's see. Now the first thing is, and I've asked this several times, students, you know, I'm, I'm asking you a question where you have to multiply numbers and variables together, and you don't do so well. You know, and that's okay. I mean, the brain's not meant to do several things at once. I mean, it can. You just got to train it. And since your body's not trained for it yet, your mind's not trained for it, let's just multiply the numbers first, like 4 times 3. Well, that's easy. That's 12. You know, and some of you got confused. Like, okay, now I'm multiplying variables. Now, the question is, what do I multiply here? Well, I'm multiplying. I'm combining exponents. You know, an exponent is just to answer the question, how many times am I trying to multiply? Well, here, if I look at x, I'm only multiplying x once, you know. Here, x squared, I'm multiplying x twice. Well, I'm multiplying x once. I multiply x two more times. Then I must be multiplying x three times. Now, in my outside terms, you know, let's try this again. Let's multiply just my numbers. Four times negative two. That's negative eight. You know, some of you get confused. Like, some of you want to write, you know, 4x negative y. No. The negative will always go in front. Now I multiply my variables. x times y. Now, how do I write that? Well, just xy. As long as a variable is touching another variable, or a variable is touching a coefficient, all means multiplication. You do not, you're not required to write a multiplication symbol there. Now look at my inside terms. 3 times 3. That's 9. And I just have x squared. I'm not multiplying that by anything, so I'll write x squared. And my last two terms, 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. And I don't multiply anything by y, so it's just y. Now, I'm required to look at each total. So you have 12x to the third power, 8, negative 8xy, 9x squared, negative 6y. And, you know, if I'm going to add these together, I have to make sure that the variable and the exponent match. Now see, I could add these x's if they had the same exponent, but they don't. You know, this is x to the third power, that's x to the second power. 
the variable and the exponent have to match. Since they don't, it doesn't work. So, same here. I have 6xy, negative 6xy, I have negative, I'm sorry, I have negative 6y. And here I have negative 8xy. Well, the y's match, but the variables have to match completely. And see, since I have xy, my outside terms, and I have just y on my last terms, since they don't match, it's not effective. So, what am I going to wind up with? Well, since I didn't add anything together, it's just going to be 12x to the third power. Whoa, what happened here? That's better. So I have 12x to the third power minus 8xy. Now, actually, though, you know, I think I'm going to write plus 9x squared. Well, why would I do that? I mean, it's not really in order, or is it? And I think, like, since I have x to the third power, hey, let's just go in order. I'll go to x to the second power, then x, and then I'll go negative 6x, 6y, since x doesn't exist. And you don't have to. And I didn't have to write xy in that order either. It's just easier. So, I hope this helps.